What is going on guys? Welcome back to my personal channel. Welcome back to another video for you guys today. The big news is finally over and our new signing potentially might be the most important signing of the lot. It is finally confirmed. Edouard Mendy is a Chelsea player. He has signed on a five-year deal for £22 million. And we're going to go into this deep into this video. We're going to discuss the transfer saga. What it means for the potential last week or two of the transfer window. Whoever we might be in for. Whoever might be still leaving the club. We're going to discuss that in this video as well. We're also going to talk about Chelsea 6 Barnsley nil Because I didn't drop a review for that game. I was at my mate's yard. We were having a party, I can't lie. Um, I just couldn't be bothered for it. It was a League Two Cup, it was a League Cup second round game. I didn't really care too much about it. But I will drop the review in this video as well. Also, I do want to apologize before I start this video if the production quality isn't as good as it, as it usually is. If that banging music from my boy LJ isn't there, it's because I left my laptop charger at my mate's yard. So now I can't edit on here. Now I can't do anything. I've just got to do a straight 10 minute video and just shoot from the hip. So guys, I'm sorry if the production quality isn't as good as usual, but you will see it improve again for tomorrow. I'm going to get that charger sorted. But yeah, Edward Mendy has signed. Before I start this video as well, if you guys haven't done so already, please smash that like button. Press the subscribe button as well and hit the bell notification button as well. We have just hit 15k, so I do want to pick up all you guys who have liked and subscribed previously. But the road to 20k now starts. So guys, if you haven't done so already, please smash that subscribe button and make my day. Please, I beg you. Even though it has already been made because this goalkeeper has finally arrived and he will produce the basics of goalkeeping, which is guaranteed to save us 10 points a season at least. I'm going to go into the official announcement from Chelsea. They said, Chelsea Football Club has today completed the signing of goalkeeper Edouard Mendy from Rennes. The Senegalese international has penned a five-year deal at Stamford Bridge and will compete with Kepa Ariza Balaga and Willy Gabriela for a starting spot between the posts in the season ahead. I, I doubt it's a case of competing now after Kepa's first two games. Might be competing with Willy, you know, <laughs> although has the stock really dropped that deep. We'll go that, we'll talk into that as well, the review because Capiero had an amazing performance, but we'll chat about that later. After signing his long-term contact contract with the Blues, Mendy said, I'm so excited to be joining Chelsea. It's a dream for me to be part of this exciting squad and to work with Frank Lampard and all of his coaching staff. I look forward to meeting my teammates. I can't wait to get started. I think I speak on behalf of every Chelsea fan, and I don't even like trying to do that a lot, but I think I speak on behalf of every Chelsea fan where I say, we all can't wait for him to step foot in blue. We can't wait for him to get started as well. Because watch our reactions. We're going to be the easiest group of fans to please after the last year and a half of Kepa. This guy will jump and catch a cross. We will cheer it like it's a goal. This guy will make a save. We will cheer it like it's a goal. Anything he'll do, we'll just stare at him with them loved up eyes just like... Look how amazing he is. And you know that's the reaction as well. It's kind of good for him as well though. Because it means he comes into this club with very little expectation. Like the standard is literally the floor with us right now. All he has to do is the basics and we will be fine. We will lap it up. On signing Mendy, Chelsea director Marina Granovskaya said, As soon as Petr Cech and our technical team identified Edouard as the most suitable goalkeeper to complement our existing group, there was only one player we wanted to bring in. Edouard arrives following a season of real success with Brenz. He's ambitious for more and we welcome him to our club. One thing I want to say, as soon as Petr Cech and our technical team identified Mendy as the most suitable goalkeeper, there was only one player we wanted to bring in. He's suitable because he's tall. He's his wingspan is massive. He is not going to miss those corn those shots going into the far corner that realistically every goalkeeper should be getting close to, except for Kepper, of course. He is going to come and command his box. He's going to jump out and catch corners more than one a season, which is what Kepper's been doing recently. And Loki. This kind of counts as another Marina Masterclass, if we're being honest, because after that Brighton game, these guys tried upping their price. They wanted 20 million. They wanted Tomori on loan. They had the nerve to try and inquire about Olivier Drude as well. Low-key, I don't blame them, because if you looked at that match as well, you'd know that we need a goalkeeper, and they want to hold on to Mendy. So I don't blame them for trying to make us pay, pay, uh, pay full price tag for it. But... Obviously, you already know with Marina, her effect takes down a minimum of, what, 30% of whatever teams try to ask us for. And we've got another player on the cheap again. This, like I said, is possibly the most important deal of the lot. 
This is going to give us a confident goalkeeper and a confident goalkeeper will also make the back four in front of him more confident as well because they won't be sitting on edge knowing as soon as they let a player go through is going into the back of the net. Now I did say initially that Mendy was coming in to compete with Kepa for that first team spot but after Kepa's first two games in the Premier League I don't think it's a case of competing anymore. I think he's just taking that spot and he's just walking with it. It all depends on his first few games as well but like I said this man just has to do the basics of goalkeeping and we will sit there and lap up every single minute of it. But yeah, that is Edouard Mendy to Chelsea done. What does this mean now for our potential transfers? This means that all eyes are now on a DM. And you know, if all eyes are on a DM, our eyes are focused on Declan Rice. Not gonna lie, I would like to see us try and go after party. Arsenal have taken so long trying to go after this guy. He's a quality DM. Why not just throw the boat out there? Why not? I mean, we've got decent talk in terms of Atletico anyway, over signing Atletico, over signing Morata and Diego Costa over the last few years. Also, the inquiry over Jan or Black that we made in the summer as well. I wouldn't mind seeing us have the balls to try and push for Thomas Party. Declan Rice is potentially going to be a Chelsea player soon. But Declan Rice, we also want to try and play him at centre back. So if you want someone that we're going to play at, D if you want someone that we're going to play at DM. I would rather us go for party as well. Declan Rice to Chelsea, like I've already said, it relies very heavily on West Ham. And do and if they really need to sell Declan Rice in order to bring in those reinforcers, I've said multiple times on previous videos, West Ham are looking to sell in order to buy more resources to, that fit David Moyes' team. But they've struggled to sell. So they might be forced to sell Declan Rice in the future. It all depends on West Ham's resolve. They also want a left back. I know they were interested in Emerson. I would really love to see us push Emerson in that deal as well. But now all the pressure is getting pushed on the DM. So we're going to see what West Ham's resolve is saying. Outgoings as well. We spoke about Emerson and West Ham were interested in him. Juve are also interested in Emerson. I think they're just waiting for De Siglio to find a new club. And then they're going to try and push forward on trying to bring Emerson. And I think the only thing that's going to hold that deal up is our valuation. We know that's the same issue that we had with, uh, what was his name, uh, Inter Milan when they were interested in Emerson. And that's why they ended up getting Alexander Kolarov from Roma instead because we had too much of a high valuation for him and they didn't want to make the move. And Loki, Italian clubs have been very stingy in this transfer window so I don't think we're going to get anywhere of that 25 million valuation anyway. We need to try lower that a little bit. I know we'll probably make a loss, but it just is what it is. I mean, Emerson's performance yesterday wasn't really stargazing either. He was decent going forward, but just poor at the back as well. Uh, Aston Villa are also interested in Ross Barkley as Dean Smith wants another number eight. This one, I don't even mind, really. I know Dean Smith's also looking at Loftus-Cheek. That one has to be a loan deal. Um... Ross Barkley to Aston Villa though I think would be more of a permanent deal and I think Chelsea would be more eager to do that as well mainly because we couldn't really make a loss on Ross Barkley even if we wanted to. We signed the guy for 15 million. We'll sell him for over that. So my thing with Ross Barkley even with the amazing game that he had yesterday if the right club comes in with the right offer just sell him and get it over with because he isn't going to break into the Chelsea squad. He's pre-season Pirlo in it but as soon as the season starts uh -uh. Um, I know Rudiger's also looking for another club as well. I'm going to go into that deeper in my next video tomorrow. But he was left out of the, the squad for Barnsley and the squad for Liverpool as well. And now he's looking to join another club with the Euros in mind for next season and the idea that he needs to get regular game time. Again, worst defender at our club right now. So it really just is what it is with Malanga Saar and... Xavier Mbiamba potentially breaking into the first squad in future seasons as well. I don't really see where Rudiger gets his chance. So it is what it is. Thanks for the memories. Thanks for Kai Havertz. Thanks for Timo Werner. But it just is what it is. But it's going to be a very jam-packed final few weeks of the transfer window. So I'm excited to see who we can get rid of. I'm going to round off the chelsea Barnsley match just to end this video. It was a brilliant performance. I'm not going to try to overhype it too much because it is Barnsley. But that is exactly the sort of performance that we wanted after the Liverpool game. We wanted more than a victory. We wanted something that would be dominant. Something that would give a lot of players confidence going into future games. And that's exactly what we saw today. Um, first goal, Tammy Abraham with great awareness and pressing for the first goal. I will say a lot of them were down to Barnsley mistakes as well, especially looking back on it there, passing out the back was ridiculous. 
ridiculously bad. I thought Kepa was bad at it, but the level in League One, yeesh. Amazing dummy for the second from Tammy Abraham for Kai Havertz's first goal. And poor Parsi out the back again, killed the game with Barkley getting his first Chelsea goal of the season. Off the, hazard, off the Havertz assist after he managed to make the interception. And they were caught in possession for number four as well after Kovacic nicked the ball. Set up to Tammy Abraham, who set up to Kai Havertz again to get the second. And then these two linked up again. For Kai Havertz's hat trick, which was a nice little saucy nutmeg and a pass into an empty net. Giroud got the last off a Ben Chilwell assist because all our signings need to be glowing. Thiago Silva also made his debut, came off after 60 minutes, but we're just trying to get him up to full match fitness. He still had a great performance in defence. And yeah, brilliant performances today by Tammy and Kai Havertz. That link up is already looking sick. It is only Barnsley, but you do you did want to see this performance from Tammy Abraham. You did want to see him fight and try and make a claim for that first team spot, even though we know Team 01 is going to be starting more games. But that link up was very interesting to see, and maybe if we can try and incorporate Team 01 into that, that might be our attacking three going forward. Also, I want to say, if Mendy isn't ready by West Brom, Willy Caballero can do that job. He was amazing. I know we would have lost that match with Kepa. I know straight up we would have lost that game with Kepa. I don't care if half the shots were going straight at him. Kepa would have still found a way to put it into the net. Caballero, great performance. Saved us on a good number of occasions. Only downside, Callum Hudson-Odoi did look like he tried to do too much on the ball and it didn't really work out well for him. I don't know how the influence in the media has been influencing his performances, but... I don't know, it's a long game with Callum hudson Doy. I can respect that. We did want to see a better performance against Barnsley. I can't really try and explain it. But I think there's, there's a lot of pressure on him right now and he's not really handling those expectations as well as you'd want to see from him. But good performance anyways. 6-0, we're through to the next round and it's Tottenham away. So I can't wait for that. There'll be previews with you. We are Tottenham TV and the boys from there as well. So yeah. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. How gassed are you that we now finally have a goalkeeper? How gassed are you about the Chelsea result as well? Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. Don't forget to like and subscribe to Carefree Lewis G. And I'll see you guys very, very soon. Take care. Up the Chelsea.